Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be looking at the MI7 model from Chloris. I was contacted by Gearvest and asked if I would be interested in reviewing this flashlight. They also gave me a choice on the color and they do have quite a few different colors on this model. So I went ahead and chose this uh, kind of light blue one. I figured I'd throw a little bit of color into my flashlight um, collection. Uh, the majority of them are black or silver so you know this fit in there very nicely. Now I don't know if you guys can tell from the video but this is a fairly small flashlight. I would almost consider it a keychain flashlight. Uh, it's a little bit big to be on your keys but you can still definitely throw it on there because it is a smaller size flashlight. Now also this is putting out 700 lumens which is really nice because you can actually um, use either a standard AA battery or a 14500 rechargeable battery. Now in order to get the 700 lumens you do have to use the 14500 battery but using a standard AA you get 330 lumens. So that's still a lot of light coming out of a flashlight this size. So let's go ahead and open up the box here so you guys can take a look at it. All right, so you have this little accessory cube down there and then the flashlight itself. Uh, let me get it out of his sleeve. Uh, we'll take a look at the flashlight in a second. Let's look at some of the accessories. All right, so sliding this out, you have a little accessory bag here. And then around that you have your user manual. Now I always do recommend that you read through the user manual so you can get familiarized how to access the different modes and uh, the different features that the flashlight has. And they make them pretty easy to follow. So um, we'll go ahead and set that to the side also. And we'll take a look at the accessories that are in this bag. The first one is a wrist lanyard and this is branded so it does say Chloris on it. And this is really nice because you can go ahead and Throw it on your wrist and cinch it down so if you're going to be maybe walking your dog or walking around, you're going to have a flashlight in hand. If you, you know, accidentally drop it, it's not going to fall onto the ground. It has this little portion right here which you can go ahead and attach directly to the flashlight. Uh, you also have a small little S-beaner and this is a locking S-beaner. So this is going to come in handy if you want to hang the flashlight from like a bag. And you can go ahead and lock it so you don't have to worry about it uh, falling off or anything like that. Or let's say you're camping, you can um, hang this from the inside of your tent and give you some light. And then besides that, you have a spare O-ring and you have a little split ring right there which you can attach again to the bottom of the flashlight if you want to go ahead and use it like on your keys. Uh, as far as the flashlight itself, it is very, very light. I think the box says that it uh, comes in at 0.93 ounces. So um, obviously less than one ounce. So very, very lightweight. That's obviously without the battery. Uh, you have some nice knurling on the body of the flashlight right here, which is really good because it allows you to grip it nice and tight, especially because it is such a small form factor flashlight. This is a, a really nice EDC light. Now, the one thing that I noticed that it, it didn't come with a pocket clip. Now, I don't know if it was just this one that didn't come with it. I have seen other videos and I think I saw uh, somebody else uh, reviewed this and theirs did have a pocket clip. So uh, maybe they just forgot to throw one in there. But again, it's so small that I can easily drop this into my pocket uh, and carry it that way. Or again, if I want to you know, attach it to my keys, I can go ahead and do that with these little um, area back here. So you have two of those or throw the lanyard on there and do it that way also. So um, again, I've already uh, inserted the 18.6 or I'm sorry, the 14.500 battery in there. And, um, you know, this uh, it's really nice. Uh, it can tail stand right there. So if you want to, you know, use it to light up a wider area, you can do so. Uh, you just have the one button right here. This button will um, cycle through the different modes, turn the flashlight on and off and stuff like that. Now, for such a small flashlight, you do have um, quite a few different modes. Uh, you know, it's just uh, kind of playing around with it to get familiarized. And again, that's why it's good to always read through the instructions so you can do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off this overhead light. We'll look at some of the modes. So again, you have the one button right there. So if you uh, just press it once, it's going to come on and that's going to be your 700 lumens. Um, again, that is your high mode. If you press it again, it's going to go to the low mode and that is 90 lumens. Now the high mode is going to be different whether you're using the uh, again 14500 battery which is going to give you 700 lumens but if you do use a AA battery you're going to get 330 lumens. Now that's pretty much the only difference as far as um, the battery usage on the standard uh, modes. So um, low is going to be 90 lumens on, on both, whether you're using uh, AA or uh, 14500. If you press it again, then it'll turn off. Now uh, from the off position, if you press and hold, 
that's going to go into a moonlight mode and that's going to be five lumens and again this is really good to uh you know if, if you're reading if you want to preserve your night light or, i'm sorry your um your night visibility you can go ahead and use this and this is going to be the same again whether or not you're using the 14500 or the AA battery and then you can go ahead and press it again to turn it off now from off you can um, press it twice and that's going to run you into a strobe and this is a variable strobe uh, this is really good to disorient people so if you're using this as a you know person of defense or something like that you can go ahead and do that and then on the 14500 that's going to be 700 lumens and on the AA that's going to be 300 lumens and then press it again and it'll come off now if you go ahead and press it twice and then you press it one more time, that's going to run you into, oh sorry about that, if you press it twice you're going to get strobe, if you press it twice again from strobe you're going to go into SOS. So um, SOS is going to be 90 lumens and that's the same on both AA and 14500. So there it is going through the SOS, alright, and then you can go ahead and turn it off. Now, this has one more feature, which is really cool. Um, it allows you to, to actually check how much battery you have left. Uh, and that's really good specifically in the 14500 because those are rechargeable. So from the off position, um, you do three clicks. So one, two, three. And then depending on how much, um, how many flashes you get, that is going to you know dictate how much battery you have. So three flashes is going to do, um, it's going to be, uh, more than 70% of the battery left. Two flashes is going to be anywhere from 30 to 70%. And then one flash is going to be less than 30% of the battery. So I'll run it again. As you guys can see, one, two, three. And then it flashed once. So that means that I have less than 30% of the uh, power for this 14500 um, battery left in the flashlight. So uh, obviously that's, you know, it tells you if uh, you do have the charger, go ahead and throw the battery on the charger and recharge it. So let me turn on this overhead light again so there it is um, as you guys can see it is a very small form factor this is great if you want a small EDC light um, you know again if you're using the 14500 is great because it is rechargeable but if by any chance you're out and about and it dies you always have the option to go ahead and throw in a double A in there yeah it's gonna give you a little bit um, less output but pretty much just on the high you're going from 700 to still a very usable EDC 330 lumens on there. So that is the MI7 from Chloris. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.